Multivariate distributions also have expected values. Here is the theorem. Let x1 up to xn be random variables with joint probability mass function f of x1 through xn. If the random variables are discrete or joint probability density function f of x1 up to xn if the random variables are continuous. The expected value of g of x1 up to xn is and it's going to be split into two cases depending on whether you have discrete or continuous random variables. In the discrete case you will have an n-fold summation over the support of g of x1 up to xn multiplied by the joint probability mass function f of x1 up to xn. So as usual this function g just simply shows up before the joint probability mass function in the summation. And in the continuous case the expected value of g of x1 up to xn again the g function shows up in front of the joint probability density function. It is an n-fold integral over the support script A and that here is given by the limits minus infinity to infinity. When x1 up to xn are continuous and when the sum or the integral exists. We ran into a couple cases where the sum or the inter integral diverged and those were for example the Cauchy distribution and the Pareto distribution, but fortunately those are the exception rather than the rule.